Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Li Li Lian, the Workers' Party candidate for Pongo East SMC. I'm really happy to be here to speak to all of you again. Thank you for coming tonight to show us your support despite the muddy field. Thank you. I joined the Workers' Party in 2006. That is more than six years ago. I met many of you in my walkabouts in general elections 2011, and you have shared your concerns with me. And you gave me 41% of the vote. I thank you for your faith, and I hope I can build on this for this by-election. Thank you very much, everyone. I've been working in the UNOS division of Aljunit GRC with MP Pridam Singh. During these past two years, I gained valuable experience in addressing the problems of many ordinary Singaporeans left behind by the PAP's policies. This will better help me serve you as your MP. Thank you. I met with young families who cannot afford to buy their own HDB flats or struggle to pay off their loans. Elderly Singaporeans who have no savings or are struggling to pay their medical bills. Parents who worry about the rising cost of education and increasing competition. And families who struggle to take care of both their children and elderly parents. I worry if our children can afford to live in Singapore 20 years down the road. My fellow Singaporeans, like you, I am a heartlander working hard to make a living. I share many of all these concerns. Tonight, I would like to talk about some of the problems that many Singaporeans, both young and old, are facing. Many of you shared, of, shared some of these problems with me in 2011 when I was walking the ground then. Now, two years later, many of these concerns still remain. Pongo East has many young families, couples who are thinking of having children or parents who already have children. Many also have to take care of their elderly parents. Do you know that fees of childcare centres have gone up by 34% in just five years. In 2007, the average fee for a full-day childcare and infant care program was $680 a month. In 2012, it was about $914 a month. In the same year, the number of childcare centres grew from 743 to 1,009. Usually, Greater competition means better prices. But this is in fact the opposite in this case. Why is that so? Because of high rental costs. Since 2009, anchor operators have dominated the childcare industry in Singapore. These anchor operators enjoy many public subsidies. They enjoy grants for rental costs, set up and furnishing costs, teacher recruitment and manpower training. All these grants come up to an estimated $69 million a year. This is over half a million dollars of taxpayer subsidy per new childcare centre built by the anchor operators. In addition, anchor operators operate mostly from HDB void decks at rents of between $2 and $4 per square metre. There are only two childcare centre operators that qualify as anchor operators. And guess who they are? They are my first school run by NTUC and PCF Sparkle Talks, affiliated to the ruling party's action, ruling people's action party. If NTUC and PCF enjoy such huge public subsidies, why are childcare centre fees going up? Young fathers today want to contribute to caring for their babies and easing the burden of their wives. Survey after survey shows that younger men are more involved in taking care of their children. A number of businesses have signaled to the government that they are open to the idea of government-supported paternity leave, 
because there is likely to increase productivity and well-being in the long run. Wives have already expressed their support for longer paternity leave for their husbands. So let me ask you, what is the government waiting for? After worrying about the cost of living and having children, we then have to worry about our stressful education system. The PSLE in particular seems to end up being a hugely stressful experience for both children and parents. Please do not get me wrong. I believe that healthy competition can be good. But should a 12-year-old child face the most important examination of his preteen's life, an examination that may affect his entire future, we are seeing unhealthy stress levels in our education system. We have students committing suicides because they did not do well enough for their exams. An estimated one in 10 children aged 6 to 16 suffer from mental health disorders. One child lost is one child too many. While it is good that the Ministry of Education has decided not to name the top PSLE students in the media to help reduce competitiveness and stress, much more can still be done. PSLE is still a high-stakes examination. If you do not do well in your PSLE, you will always be struggling to catch up with your peers because of secondary school streaming. The formative years of our young children should also be better spent on nurturing their talents and interests rather than forcing preparation for high-stakes examinations on them. We should study the feasibility of a primary, secondary school integrated program and other ways to reduce the pressure to perform in the PSLE. While Congo East is a relatively young estate, we must not forget our senior citizens who have worked hard and contributed to nation building and the growth of our country. At the age of 75, most of our seniors, senior citizens are unemployed. For those who are employed, they can hardly make ends meet. This is why our seniors who are 75 and above should be allowed to use their MediSafe for medical treatment without any restriction. Medical costs has become a huge necessity as one grows older. At the age of 75, MediSafe should be used to support immediate needs. Life expectancy in Singapore is 82 years old. Listen to that, 82 years old. If our seniors cannot use their MediSafe funds for immediate medical needs when they are 75 years old, then when can they use it? Allowing unrestricted use of MediSafe for them will also ease the burden on families who have to take care of elderly parents and young children as well. My fellow Singaporeans and residents of Congo East, if we want to build strong and stable families and truly invest in the future of our nation, we need to get our policies right. We really can do better than this. I'm also an ordinary Singaporean. I grew up in a three-room HDB flat. I'm not a high flyer or a government scholar. I did not do very well earlier in my schooling years. But I worked hard, really hard, and made it to Nian Polytechnic and eventually graduated from Curtin University of Australia. In order to ease the financial burden on my parents, I did part-time job when I was at age 15. I'm running for this by-election because I want a better Singapore, not only for us, but also for our children. Residents of Congo East, the Workers' Party has the experience to manage the estate and constituency, and I will strive to build a strong and engaged community in Congo East. I will work my hardest to represent you and be your voice in Parliament. Vote for our future. Vote for the Workers' Party and vote for me, Li Li Lian, on polling day next Saturday, 26th of January. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.